The United States has once again stunned the world with a powerful demonstration of its aerospace supremacy by unveiling and testing a new hypersonic aircraft. In a secretive but highly coordinated test over the Pacific, this new machine pierced through the atmosphere at speeds previously reserved only for science fiction. It's fast, sleek, and built with one mission in mind total domination of the skies. The United States has been at the forefront of aerial innovation for decades. From the legendary SR-71 Blackbird to cutting-edge stealth fighters like the F-22, Raptor, and F-35 Lightning II, the U.S. has consistently pushed the boundaries of speed, stealth, and power. But now, this latest development marks a monumental leap not just an evolution, but a revolution in aerial warfare. What we're witnessing isn't just a faster aircraft. It's a shift in the way future conflicts might be fought and won. This new hypersonic aircraft, still largely under wraps in terms of its full capabilities and designation, is reported to fly at speeds exceeding Mach 5, that's over 3,800 miles per hour. At that velocity, this craft could cross entire continents in under an hour, evade traditional radar systems, and reach targets before they even have time to respond. The implications for both defense and offense are massive. During the recent test flight, the hypersonic vehicle launched from a secured U.S. Air Force base and soared to its target zone with pinpoint accuracy. Onlookers, including top military, analysts, and aerospace engineers, described the event as flawless. The aircraft maintained structural integrity even as it experienced extreme temperatures due to air friction, one of the biggest engineering challenges at hypersonic speeds. Special materials and advanced cooling systems are believed to have played a key role in its stability. Unlike traditional jets that rely solely on turbojet engines, hypersonic vehicles are powered by scramjets or dual-mode ramjets engines that compress incoming air at such high speeds that combustion happens as the aircraft is moving. This allows the aircraft to maintain extreme velocities without needing external oxidizers like rockets do. It also makes them incredibly efficient for fast, long-range missions. Beyond speed, the aircraft's design showcases stealth and survivability. Satellite imagery and classified leaks suggest a sleek, low-profile frame with minimal radar signature. Its shape is optimized to reduce drag while enhancing maneuverability even at blistering speeds. Advanced composite materials, heat-resistant alloys, and next-gen avionics systems make it an engineering marvel. But what does this mean strategically? For one, the U.S. now has the capability to strike targets globally with almost no warning. Hypersonic speed eliminates the delay between detection and impact, giving adversaries almost zero reaction time that could be critical in neutralizing high-value targets or responding to missile threats before they escalate. With tensions rising in regions like the South China Sea, Eastern Europe, and the Middle East, this aircraft adds an unpredictable variable to any enemy's calculations. China and Russia have both made headlines in recent years for their own. Hypersonic programs, the Chinese DFZF and the Russian Avangard are both capable of reaching hypersonic speeds. However, the U.S. has taken a slightly different approach rather than just developing hypersonic missiles. It is developing fully operational hypersonic aircraft. That's a significant distinction. A missile is a one-way weapon. An aircraft can gather intel, deliver payloads, engage multiple targets, and return to base. It's reusable adaptable, and far more valuable over time. There are also important defensive advantages. If deployed strategically, hypersonic aircraft could act as interceptors against enemy missile threats. Their speed allows them to rapidly close the distance to incoming threats, and their onboard AI systems can analyze and respond faster than any human pilot. Think of it as a guardian of the skies patrolling vast regions in minutes, engaging and eliminating threats before they're even on the radar. Dot another game-changing feature is unmanned capability. Reports suggest that this new hypersonic craft can operate in both manned and unmanned configurations. That's crucial for high-risk missions deep into hostile airspace. With AI-assisted flight systems and remote control technology, the U.S. can send these jets into the most dangerous zones without putting pilots in harm's way, Training and logistics are also being rapidly developed to support this hypersonic initiative. Special hangars are being built with thermal-resistant materials. Fuel systems are being adapted to handle the extreme demands of scramjet engines. 
Pilots and controllers are undergoing simulations to get used to the split-second decision-making. Required at such speeds, the Pentagon is investing billions into not just making these aircraft, but making them an integral part of U.S. air dominance for the next generation. Perhaps one of the most exciting applications is the ability to carry hypersonic payloads. This new aircraft can serve as a launch platform for hypersonic missiles, drones, or even electronic warfare tools. In other words, it's not just a fast jet, it's a mobile platform for advanced weapon systems that can change the outcome of a battle within moments. There are, of course, concerns. Critics argue that hypersonic weapons and aircraft increase the risk of conflict due to their speed and unpredictability. If misidentified or misunderstood, one launch could escalate tensions rapidly. That's why alongside the development of these new systems, the U.S. is also focusing on enhancing its communication and command infrastructure, ensuring that every deployment is coordinated, tracked, and controlled with precision. Public reaction to the test has been a mix of awe and caution. Aviation enthusiasts and defense experts are excited by the sheer technological leap, while peace advocates warn of the potential arms race it could spark. Regardless of where one stands, it's clear this test has sent a message. The U.S. is not standing still. It's innovating, adapting, and preparing for the future of warfare. Meanwhile, other nations are watching closely. Intelligence communities across the globe are now re-evaluating their own aerial defense systems. Can their current radars detect and track hypersonic aircraft? Can their interceptors respond in time? The answer in most cases is no. That gives the U.S. a distinct strategic edge at least for now. Hypersonic technology also opens doors for civilian applications down the line. NASA has long studied hypersonic flight for future space planes and rapid global travel. The innovations being tested in this military aircraft could someday pave the way for commercial flights between continents in under two hours, but for now, its role remains firmly in the domain of defense. As the dust settles from this historic test, one thing is certain. The United States has changed the rules of air power. This is not just about flying faster, it's about controlling the tempo of war, dictating the terms of engagement, and making sure that when threats arise no matter where, or when the U.S. can respond instantly and decisively, the sky is no longer the limit. With hypersonic flight, the United States has made the entire planet a reachable battlefield in minutes. The world just got a whole lot smaller and a whole lot faster. And for those who would challenge America's dominance in the skies, the message is clear. This is just the beginning.